unbelievable class here today. I'll tell you for a couple of reasons. The largest class I've ever had was like 12. I think we have like six, 17. That doesn't even include our four TAs. I think it'll go well. The old record for the number of girls taking data structures was two. I have seven this year. That's a good sign. And um, what we're gonna do today, I know that some of you have only missed uh, programming for the two months of the summer, but some of you ha have not, uh, ha have missed much longer than that because you didn't take CSA last year. You either didn't take a programming course at all or you took um, Honor Cyber, whatever, and so you've been away from Java for like a full year. So what I'm gonna do for the first two or maybe even three classes is just not teach you brand new stuff, but just get you back up to speed, like where you were at the end of last year. I, I know that you've forgotten some stuff, and so we just need to get back to where we were. And then I promise we'll hit the ground running right after that and learn all the new stuff, okay? So today and probably on Tuesday, we'll spend the entire period reviewing stuff. Today I intend to review loops and logic, and then probably on Tuesday we'll review arrays and array lists and then everything will hopefully start sinking in. Now, there was one summer assignment for the year, uh, and that was to learn IntelliJ because we won't be using BlueJ anymore. BlueJ is a great educational tool, but no one out there who actually programs for a living uses BlueJ because it's got no type ahead features. Learn IntelliJ, believe me, you'll like it. You can typically program twice as fast on IntelliJ as you can on BlueJ because it just keeps filling in all the answers for you. So in order to see where your summer assignment is, if you still haven't done it, I'll give you one more week to kind of finish it up. But if you just go over here to westhillcs.com and you click on this little star, you can see that there are instructions here for you on how to uh, learn IntelliJ. Basically what you're going to do is you're gonna go- If you want to take full control of your- And you're going to uh, watch this video, which is two and a half hours long try to follow along. There's two versions of IntelliJ, the paid one and the free one. Obviously you go with the free one. And um, if you're having trouble getting IntelliJ to work on your computer or anything, one of the TAs here can help you with that. Also, when we do lab work, we're typically gonna go into the lab and work on it. So you can also use the IntelliJ that's installed on the school computers. So it's not completely essential you have it on your own, but you're gonna want it on your own machine because you're gonna wanna work on it at home on your projects and stuff. So that's basically something you have to do. Did you have a question? Okay. All right, so let's keep going here. And um, like I said, you've probably forgotten some stuff. Like that's not right. Um, hamburger diagram, just as a reminder, whatever's in the meat of the diagram is the main lesson for today. Today will be the only day I don't have it running. And the other stuff will be other things that I need to kind of remind you of. So now let me show you your textbook. If you go over here to westhillcs.com and you scroll down, this link will take you to some information about the page. This link here will take you to your online textbook. Let's have a quick look at that. So here on the left are all the topics that we're going to cover. The only thing that's not included in here are the prep lessons we're doing today and on Tuesday to get back up to speed. I should also tell you that on YouTube, if you go to my channel, which is West Hill CS, there's a playlist here called West Hill Data Structures. And there are 136 videos from last year that basically describe all the lectures that you need for this year. I mentioned this in case you break a leg or you're gonna be out for a while or maybe you just didn't understand what Mr. Sarkar taught that day and you'd like to see it over again, you can just go home and watch the lecture. The only lectures that are not very good are the first couple, and that's why I'm re-recording those because I was just learning how to create videos last year and didn't really understand all the ins and outs, so I'm gonna replace the first couple of videos, but the rest of them are all pretty good. So now I need to 
explain to you what we're going to do today. I'm going to teach you a tiny bit of non-Euclidean geometry and then we're going to program it. Okay, non-Euclidean geometry, when mathematicians hear non-Euclidean geometry, most of the time they want to go screaming from the room because it's really hard. But today's non-Euclidean geometry is much, much easier. It's something called taxicab distance, also called New York City distance. We're going to talk about that. We're going to do it on pencil and paper first, and then we're going to go next door and do it on a computer. For this project, I'm going to ask you to find a partner and go sit next to them right now. So if you are a partner and you are not sitting next to each other, please change seats at the moment. 